good evening. We are back again, and today we are going to learn about the remaining concept under module three. So, sales force automation, sales strategy management, knowledge management. I will see all the concept, and there are a couple of moves that we have to learn. Let's talk about the sales force automation. What is sales force automation? Wherein your sales is not dependent on the traditional process. And you are dependent on machine in order to promote your sales or generate sales or lead for your organization. It is known as sales force automation. Nowadays, companies like banks or even other companies, they have their application app where you can use it on your phone. What you can do with this application? You can order, you can buy products, you can get your products delivered. What does it mean? Your human beings are not involved. Everything is happening mechanical, electronical, and sales force automation. Not only this, if you try to understand this aspect, a concept, well, you are standing in front of a machine, and you need a fruit juice of X Y Z flavor. You click on the buttons, and what you do then? You will be involved. Start. So when we talk about sales force automation, do you think that human beings are involved? The answer for this is no. The reason is the machine is in front of you, you punch in all the information, you get the product that you are looking for, here there is an elimination of machine, elimination of human being. There is no intervention of human being. Here you are interacting with the machine and machine is helping you to get a product in fact, for the company, if you see, the whole sales process is automated. That is, it is happening with the help of machine. That is nothing but sales force automation. Let's talk about sales technique management. Well, divide and rule is a concept which we have heard in the history. But in certain cases, it has been observed that when there is a division of work, it leads to having or getting the work done in the best possible way. If you want to get your work done, if you want to do, if you want to see a perfection in a specific work, then it is essential that you see that you divide the work in the groups that you have. What does it mean? As for the concept under customer relationship management, we are learning sales territory management. What does it mean? Divide the territory, divide the area, and assign that area, assign that place to a specific customer care or to a specific customer relationship manager. It will help him to deal with the customer in a specific and better way. What does it mean? Let me just explain. Different area, different geographical area has a different geographical demand. Maybe on the basis of weather condition, maybe on the basis of income level of that particular specific group, of that specific area. Okay. It means that area need a special focus and attention on certain things as compared to the other area. Then as well, we have derived a concept in order to deal with the people with the help of sales territory management. It is the concept that says that every territory must have a different customer relationship manager because he can frame plans and implement plans based on that geographical need of that specific area. That helps to serve better, that helps to enhance customer experience, that helps to provide customer services at, in the best possible ways. Now, let's move to the next concept, which talks about knowledge management. What is knowledge management? Companies, foreign companies, big MNCs, when you see them all over the world, but still they are able to manage their business very well and earn profit from all the corners of the world. What I am referring to, let us try to understand this with an example. We have a company like Coke. Do Coke is manufactured in India? 
is it an Indian brand and Indian company? The answer for this question would be obviously no. Right? But how still we have this coke getting delivered all over the world? How we see coke is manufactured in India as well. When I said at the beginning that it, it is not an Indian brand, neither it is manufactured in India. And let me just tell you, it is happening on the basis of knowledge management. In India, there are several bottling companies. Now, these bottling companies are meant to create bottles as well as to fill water and certain gases which are required for various offerings. Now, these bottling companies have a tie up with this foreign brand like Coke, Pepsi, etc. They sign a contract where they secretly give their syrup to these bottling companies and these bottling companies mix it to, to huge quantity of water and then they put it in the bottles. As a result, we get coke in India as well as several other companies. What exactly they are doing? They are sharing their knowledge. They are sharing their information. But in a very secretive way, well, even we are not coming to know what exactly they are sharing. So the idea that you have, you have to keep them so secret so that no one can copy you and you can generate business through it, that is nothing but knowledge management. Isn't it you are able to serve many customers, but at the very same time you are able to save your secrets of your business. That is what knowledge management is you about. One of the aspects to enhance customer support, customer experience is to keep the secret but make sure that you get your customers served every corner of the world. With the help of knowledge management. What is lead management? Lead management is a concept which is which is followed by lead managers. Basically lead means sales. Primary focus is to enhance the lead of the lead manager to enhance the sales. Might be through offers, might be through discount. Whereas lead managers also with the help of customer relationship management, they also gather the data and from the data they try to find out the possible potential customers to whom they can approach and generate lead, generate sales for the business. So that is how CRM data is connected with lead manager. That is what known as lead manager. Using the CRM, getting the data of your customer, approaching the right customer for your product, and enhancing your sales, that is about lead manager. One concept, three different names, you might have learned this in management, that is subsequent model, gap model, service quality model. What is subsequent model? What is gap model? What is service quality model? Service quality measurement, basically. Well, it says that Whenever you produce a service, how do you produce a service? A manager has certain perception about customers' wants and needs. It gets the data from the market. But in a closed room, that manager plans how to fulfill the needs and demands of the customer. Then the manager talks about his information, talks about uh, the, the execution part to the employees, especially the middle level managers or to the lower level managers. Now this lower level managers will further communicate this information to the subordinates, to the employees who has to execute the plan, who has to work at the ground level. And then at the end, they make the product and they serve to the customer. But eventually when it is given to the customer, 
there can be two possibilities. Customer has received the product the way they have accepted, the, the way they have perceived, the way they have thought about the product. Then there is no gap. It is an ideal situation. Management ne wohi socha, managers ne wohi socha, jo customer ko chahiye tha. Bahut achhi baat. Very good. Lekin there is a possibility ki managers jo soch rahe hain aur customers ko jo chahiye, there is a difference. The difference kyun ho sakta hai? First, manager ne jo customer ko, manager ne jo employees ko communicate kiya, agar thoda bhi kam communicate kiya. थोड़ा भी कम्युनिकेशन में डिफ्रेंसिएशन आ गया कि मैनेजर ने कुछ कहा लेकिन इम्प्लॉयज ने कुछ और समझ के कुछ प्रोड्यूस किया तो विल देर बी डिफ्रेंसिएशन यस तो क्या मार्केट में जो प्रोडक्ट मिलेगा विल देर बी आर डिफरेंस बिटवीन दी एक्सपेक्टेशन एंड वॉट एग्जैक्टली कस्टमर एज रिसीव यस कस्टमर के एक्सपेक्टेशन से मैच नहीं होगा वॉट विल नीड टू दैट विल नीड टू डिसटिस्फेक्शन दैट इज वॉट कैप मॉडल इज ऑल अबाउट Gap model talks about five different gaps and says there could be several reasons behind gap. The market or the manager policies बना रहा है कैसे बनाएगा? With the help of the market information. अगर market से जो information मिला वो गलत मिला है तो तो ultimately उसने जो policy बनाएगा या फिर जो plans बनाएगा product को बनाने के लिए product को produce करने के लिए उसमें problem होगा problem होगा means ultimately जो customers को product मिलेगा it will be not as per the satisfaction. उसके अलावा मैनेजर ने सोचो राइट इंफॉर्मेशन कलेक्ट किया बट इम्प्लॉयज को जो बताया वो वो सही से कम्युनिकेट नहीं हुआ तो वापस से क्या आ जाएगा द नेक्स्ट क्या उसके अलावा सोचो अगर इम्प्लॉयज को भी जो बताया वो राइट right बताया और इम्प्लॉयज ने भी राइट right उसको इंप्लीमेंट किया लेकिन मार्केट में पहुंचते पहुंचते प्रोडक्ट जिस हिसाब से मार्केटर्स या सेल्समैन को जिस हिसाब से गुड्स को प्रेजेंट करना था जिस हिसाब से गुड्स को डेमोन्स्ट्रेट करना था उसमें भी सही से नहीं किया तो भी प्रॉब्लम सो माई बी देर कुड बी सेवरल गैप्स देर कुड बी सेवरल गैप्स विच इज डिस्कर्स इन दिस गैप मॉडल सर्विकल मॉडल ऑल्सो प्रूव है सर्विस क्वालिटी मेजरमेंट वॉट इज एक्टली टॉक्स अबाउट it talks about various gaps which exist in the market if you focus on this gap to aap acha product bana paoge acha service de paoge acha service de paoge customer ko and it will lead to satisfaction lekin agar aapne alag alag gaps pe dhyan nahi diya matlab r&d sahi se nahi kiya ki customer ko kya chahiye ya fir employees ko sahi se information pass nahi kiya ya fir jo प्रोडक्ट बना है फाइनल रिटेलर या होलसेलर के पास जैसे जाना था उस हिसाब से नहीं किया जैसे प्लान किया है देन दैट इट विल लीड टू लास्ट कांसेप्ट दैट वी आर आई आई विल बी टीचिंग अंडर मॉड्यूल 3 इज 3 ईज ऑफ सीआरएम आल्सो नोन एज कंपनीज 3 ईज मेजर अलग नाम है बट इट्स मोर ऑर लेस द सेम नाउ व्हाट इज 3 ईज ऑफ CR. Remember, it is not three E's of ECR. It is three E's of CR, which is different from six E's of ECR that we have studied in module four. This is you should always remember. Now, what is three E's of CR? What is company three E's measure? What exactly is this? Let us try to understand. CR manager says that there are three E's that you need to focus. effectiveness, efficiency and employee chain. अगर इस तीन E पे फोकस किया गुड नहीं किया तो प्रॉब्लम अच्छा वॉट इज इफिशियंसी वेन यू यूज द प्रोडक्ट टू एट्स ऑप्टिम लेवल देन दैट रीड्स टू इफिशियंसी फॉर एग्जाम्पल यहाँ अगर सौ बच्चे बैठ सकते हैं एक साथ में एग्जाम्पल तो अगर हंड्रेड के हंड्रेड लोग यहाँ बैठे हैं It means this is optimum utilization of these resources. Then it is it will lead to efficiency. It will lead to efficiency. Then what is effectiveness? See, effectiveness means there is a certain target which has been set by your manager, a 
एंड यू अचीव द टारगेट जैसे मैनेजर को पता है कि ये रूम में ये रूम में कम से कम 60 लोग तो बैठ ही सकते हैं ओके सिक्सटी टू सेवेंटी तो मैनेजर इज सेटिंग अ टारगेट कि भाई तुम 60 टू 70 लोगों को अगर इस रूम में बैठा पाए देन यू वुड बी कंसिडर्ड एज इफेक्टिव 100 तो आप जबरदस्ती बैठा दोगे तो 100 भी बैठ जाएंगे लेकिन एक क्लासरूम में 60 टू 70 एक ही वक्त में बैठा रहा है बिकम्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट बट मैनेजर से जरा अगर तुम ये कर लिया देन यू आर यू वुड बी कंसिडर्ड एज इफेक्टिव मतलब एक मशीन है जिससे आपको सिक्सटी टू सेवेंटी यूनिट प्रोड्यूस करते हैं अगर आपने कर दिया आठ घंटे की ड्यूटी में 60 टू 70 यूनिट्स प्रोड्यूस करना इजी है देन यू आर इफेक्टिव लेकिन अगर आपने इफिशियंटली काम किया तो उसी आठ घंटे में आप 100 यूनिट प्रोड्यूस कर सकते हो दैट इज इफिशियंसी इफेक्टिवनेस इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम इफिशियंसी दोनों सेम नहीं है यू कैन बी इफेक्टिव बट यू आर नॉट इफिशियंट बट इफ यू आर इफिशियंट देन यू आर डेफिनेटली इफेक्टिव प्लीज मेक श्योर यू रिवाइंड एंड गर्ल इज अगेन You can be effective, but you are not efficient. Possible. But if you are efficient, then you are certainly effective. Last is employee chain, which is third E. What is employee chain? Employee chain means see, CRM to implement करना is not an easy task. हो सकता है traditionally आपके employees अलग तरीके से customers को serve करते थे. Now there is a need to change in the pattern of serving your customers. तो उस केस में उस केस में व्हाट यू शुड डू उस केस में यू शुड मॉडिफाई योर सर्विसेज एज पर कस्टमर नीड्स आप कैसे मॉडिफाई करोगे एज पर कस्टमर नीड्स बाय ट्रेनिंग योर एम्प्लॉयज बाय प्रोवाइडिंग यू नो बाय लेटिंग योर कस्टमर एम्प्लॉय गो टू वेबिनार सेमिनार वर्कशॉप ट्रेनिंग एंड डेवलपमेंटल प्रोग्राम्स लो by motivating your employees by um, rewarding your employees if required by punishing your employees these are nothing but the various ways of using your human resource that is the third e of ecr that is employee chain if you focus on efficiency effectiveness and employee chain then you would be able to implement you will we would be able to have a good uh, team of crm within your organization otherwise you may have department you may have a team but they may not be effective or efficient that's it for today's session thank you for listening bye for now